Jack coming down there. He's down, but he won't tell us where he is. That's what he's on the phone twice. He says he's where high. the ball's been kicked on the air. Ball's there, no? Where there's loads of balls being It's the end of the night, it's Sunderland, they're in the championship. All I can say is well done Alex Neil, unbeaten in 16 games. What an absolute fantastic breath of fresh air Alex Neil has been to this Sunderland side. He's come in, he's turned it around, he's instilled confidence throughout the whole of the team. I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't rest until that result was done today, but now the results don't win the championship. Happy days. I'm here now in Premier Inn Hotel. Bright and breezy, much more comfortable looking and nice looking hotel than it was last night, but it's still. And I've been to McDonald's. Got a triple cheeseburger and, and chips. And you know what it is? I got no receipt. So I went to the counter and said, I bought a triple cheeseburger and chips. And they went, okay, sir. And they just give us it. So end of the day, I could have been ripping them off, but I wasn't. Happy days. Enjoy, enjoy your long weekend. And we'll see you tomorrow with another vlog. But you know, end of the day, 
Alex Neil and the team, well done. Alex Neil and the team, well done. The 60,000 fans at Wembley today. I'm going to say 60,000 because there was a lot of fans there. So well done. Happy days. Enjoy. I'm going to go and have this bad boy right here. And then I'm going to enjoy that bad boy right there. Take care. God bless. Please subscribe channel. Take care. And we'll see you tomorrow. When I think Wincy has some flares to let off. See you later. On the Olympic Way and in the surrounding area, as part of its public space protection order, fans drinking on Olympic Way and in the surrounding streets will be asked to hand over their alcohol and exhausting action for the Olympic Another game on today, it's Bromley versus Wrexham. Wrexham tops, a bit like Arsenal tops. It's time to get packed out already, it's only about half past ten. I can see FA, FA Trophy today. I could be wrong, but I can see FA Trophy today. Should be a good little game going on there today. Have a wander around, see what we can see. After party, something after party. Chill out day today, it's a chill out day. It's like 23 degrees, it's absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful day. Time to get busy again now for the new game today. FA Trophy, Bromley versus Wrexham, all streaming in, and we're heading off back to Kings Cross. So we're heading now to the train to head off up to Kings Cross, and then we're going to head off to the train to Durham. Then we'll be heading to Wincy's Garden, and and Wincy be having a few. Is it pyros? There's no party without pyros, and no pyros without party. I have no idea what he's talking about. But he's got a few flares to go off, and we'll be setting those off. If you are enjoying the video so far, please subscribe to the channel thank you for 14,000 subscribers everybody out there who subscribed thank you so much absolute fantastic and don't forget to like this video if you're enjoying the content and we'll see you in a bit all the fans going in the box park oh he's got his beer he's got a beer if you're in trouble he's got a beer Hi. Got the beer. Getting his bottom smacked off the place very shortly. Yeah, it's starting to get busy now down here at Wembley Way. <sighs> yes, yeah, so finally back now, finally back now, settled down, back on my lovely abode. And to be honest, I'm not as tired as I thought it was going to be. I thought I would be absolutely shattered after the weekend, but in the last twice I've been down to Wembley and back, I've done the day thing and uh, to be honest, the whole weekend thing is much better. I'm pleased I went down on the Friday with Winston Jonas. Absolutely, two absolutely fantastic Sunderland fans. And I'm pleased with all the people I've met. I met some absolutely wonderful people down at Wembley. And thank you to everybody who came up to us and, and, and wanted to shake my hand, take little photographs and just literally chat about Sunderland. You're all absolutely fantastic. I loved you all. It was an amazing weekend. And last night, as you can see, I was at my McDonald's. I was a little bit tired last night, a little bit drunk, for, a little bit worse for wear last night. But I was never, I never got into the situation where I was intoxicated. I never got the situation where I was too, too drunk. I was happy. I was happy. Happy, looked after myself. And yeah, it ended up really well. So for those lads who were fighting at the start of the footage, I don't know what happened. I kind of blame anybody. We Philly has more footage for, for SFC Fan TV. He has more sort of close-up footage of what went on. As you can see, mine was from a distance. I didn't really get an idea who started it. So I'm not going to blame anybody. But I think some of them young ones were a little, been, been a little bit over the top throwing corns and things, which I don't agree with. I don't agree with any fighting beyond a football match. I think we should all just get on. But it's never going to happen, is it? It takes all sorts. And the whole experience was great. I think I only met one i think it was one fan two or three fans who weren't very nice today coming home for, for going up wembley way up the steps going up wembley way, some fans were going down there was a rex and bromley match on they had no sort of significant foot, football gear on so i don't know which team they supported or who they were but as they were walking down the steps we were walking up to the side just past the police and they shouted up your dirty scruffy mackums that sort of thing and i thought yeah there's no need of that i gave a few comments back but they, they basically wandered off and walked away and i thought that was the only sort of downside of the whole weekend i thought it was great i thought i i, I kind of liked the police sort of not having drink on Wembley Way it didn't bother me one single bit. The Trafalgar experience, all the police sort of had the whole place cordoned off and everybody inside Trafalgar Square could have alcohol 
and I, I never saw any trouble in there either. I thought the fans were, were great. So I know <clears throat> I'm just pleasing them back now when we've gotten promoted to the championship. Absolutely buzzing. We promoted to the championship. And you know, like I said, I, I felt it was one of those like bizarre, surreal experiences. I never really enjoyed the game. I never really enjoyed the game. As as in as in so much as I could stand, sit there and really take in it. I just felt I, I don't know, I just felt sick, I felt weak, I just felt my legs were gonna go, I just felt that I just wanted to win so badly. I just wanted the whistle to go so badly so we could be promoted to the championship. And when it finally happened, then, then, absolutely, then we can celebrate. Then I could enjoy the night, and I really did enjoy the night. Absolutely fantastic. <clears throat> I tell you what was interesting as well today, on the way home I wore something top going through London back to King's Cross and the amount of games going on in London today, I think Leeds were away to Brentford, I think Everton were away to Arsenal, I think Crystal Palace also were playing uh, Manchester United, Chelsea were home to Watford, so there was lots of games, lots of games going on, I met lots of fans just walking through towards King's Cross, I met Leeds United fans and they all come over congratulating Sunderland getting promoted to the Championship and they were saying they were hoping they were going to get relegated to playoffs next season and you know, they were really friendly, about five or six Leeds fans, you know, Leeds fans probably maybe in there in the 30s or 40s and you know, I just... The friendliness was amazing. Then there was fans come over from Everton. Everton fans were coming over and they were shaking my hand, congratulating me. Wincy saying, well done. Well done. Pickford's one of our own now. Listen, one of them said about Pickford, apparently he wasn't playing today. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked. I'm not quite sure. But apparently Pickford wasn't playing today because he was given time off to, to enjoy and, and support the team. You know, the, that he supports as a child and going through the, the Youth Academy Sunderland yesterday. So he got the day off today. Now, I don't know if that's true. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll, I'll have a look when I, I finish this. But he was saying, yes, Pickford, Begovic is starting the day because Pickford was over celebrating yesterday. So well done. So Everton fans are coming over. Congratulations. And it was just people from all over walking past just saying, Sunderland fan, well done, shaking hands. So like I said before, I mean, to even say 99.9% 9, of the fans amazing we're saying 99.99.9 percent .9 right but the other one percent is 99.9 percent .9 as well because i mean apart from one fan the rest of them were fantastic all through london so there you go so excellent and the police outside of king's cross were proper football police not the place we saw trafalgar anyway there you go so I have a little bit of footage now of Wincy and Jonas celebrating with the flares. Yes, celebrating with the flares. Brilliant. Match review. I might do a match review later on in the week. I might do it. I need to look. I need to watch the whole match back. I need to watch it all again because when you're at the ground, it just everything's a big blur. Everything's a blur. The time goes over. You, you, you sort of you, your senses are heightened and. and the Sam Vokes opportunity where Patterson saved it. I never really saw that from a distance. So I'm going to watch the whole match back and I'll do a proper review later on in the week. So I hope you've enjoyed the three vlogs down at Wembley. Like I said, 99.9% .9 of the fans are absolutely amazing from, from all clubs. Just a little 1% that's spoiler for some people. But there you go. You make your mind up what you saw on the footage, whether there was anybody kicking off or what was going on, I don't know. But like I said, I want to say a big thank you to Winston and Jonas. Absolutely fantastic travelling Travelling companions, brilliant, brilliant weekend with them too. And everybody out there, take care. God bless me. God go with you. Please subscribe to the channel. We're so close now to 15,000. We're only 900 away <laughs> and, and, and 30 now. So we're a long way. But thank you. For, thank you. Thank you for watching the whole of this season. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving me the thumbs up. If it wasn't for you, I'd be absolutely just talking to myself. So take care. God bless. And... We'll go through this in a match review at some point during the week. We'll see you later. Here's Wincy and Jonas just celebrating with the flares that came an hour after we left for London. <laughs> and off, right, after party flare show. Here we go. Sunland take, take over, over. Everywhere, everywhere we go. go. Sunland take, take over, over. Everywhere, everywhere they go. go. Everywhere they go. Oh. One, two, three, four. So then take <laughs> over. Sleep that night. <laughs> Better. And where they go. So then take over. And where they go. <laughs> Everywhere they go. Where? 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 Welcome, Welcome, Welcome to the championship. Welcome to the championship. We're there. We've done it. Oh, my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You're a really fucking face, man.
I'm gonna get the wind in the right direction. Okay, that's the thing. Move further over that way. And you'll get there, uh, or go that way, other way. Yeah, it's a bigger leg, isn't it? So then take over, and where they go? <laughs> so then take over, everywhere they go. Everywhere they go. One, two, three, four. So then take over. Got a gun? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs>